And please join me in giving a warm welcome to Congressman Mike Honda. Oh, you all look good. So uh, right now, I'm really uh, deeply honored to be part of today's opening ceremony of the Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. The AAPI community has become one of the fastest growing racial group in the United States, and we have an increasingly significant role in business, medicine, law, government, entertainment, the arts, in all the facets of American life. As Chair Emeritus of the Congressional Asian Pacific American Caucus, I have seen incredible changes and in growth in our AAPI leaders in all sectors. I am so pleased by the installation of this impressive group of new AAPI commissioners being sworn in by Judge uh, Sidney Vassan. And uh, this group has been um, very impressive. And I've worked uh, in the past with the White House Initiative for the past 13 years, across, and uh, I heard community uh, hearings across this country and getting funding for the initiative. And I know personally the power and the promise of the work you are embar embarking upon. And congratulations to the, uh, to the uh, initiative members here, commissioners. <laughs> Having said that, there's so much still to do for our AAPI community in passing comprehensive immigration reform, de developing, ideas, developing ideas for our small businesses, providing quality education for each and every child, strengthening civil rights uh, and civil liberties, ensuring that we have true data dis uh, dis disaggregation to best inform all of our policymakers. I look forward to working with each and every one of you to help make our country a more perfect union. Today we are honored with two extraordinary champions for our community. Let's welcome my good friend and great leader, the Chair of KPAC, Congresswoman Judy Chu. And a, a most powerful voice for our Asian American Pacific Islander, the incomparable Vice President of the United States, Joe Biden.